Pow, pow, pow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of NTV Cribs. Today we're taking you inside Kirby's studio apartment. Yeah, it's Kirby's pad. Let's get things started in the place where all the magic happens, the bedroom. You can see we got the mushroom bed on display. And you know we had to bling it out with dual matching crystals. Ladies love the matching crystals. We also got a nice shag carpet, fireplace, shark tank, and lava lamp. And of course, the Bose stereo system always pumping out the Marvin Gaye. Holla! Alright, let's show off this next room. This is my playroom, and you see I got my magic flying carpet up towards the ceiling with the tin robot man flying it. Hey, bring that down here so I can have a turn. He never shares. Alright, let's head on over to the sunroom. See, I got my telescope pointed out the window just in case there's like a Megan Fox sunbathing sighting. You know, you gotta be ready for that sort of stuff. Let's take you now to my favorite room of the house, the kitchen. This is where I get my grub on. Oh, look what the chef prepared me today. A nice tasty log cake. That looks delicious. Hey, cameraman. I see you looking at my log cake. That's mine, alright? Let's take you outside now to the grotto. See, I got my stuffed bear hanging out in the outdoor bath. He's just chilling, guarding the perimeter. Got the dual torches because the ladies love the fire. Alright, that's a look at my house. Now get out of here. I gotta go save Yarn World. What's up, everybody? Nintendo LP back with some more Kirby's Epic Yarn. And finally, we're getting back to live commentary because doing commentary after the fact and editing stuff together, oh, it's just so much extra work. How does Chugga Conroy do it? I'm, like, too lazy to do stuff like that too often. Alright, so this, Sweet Spark, is the first level that actually looks like it belongs in Treatland. None of these psychedelic mushrooms that make your head spin. None of these toy trains that no one knows how to control. No, just good old-fashioned cake with fluffy frosting on top. I mean, look at how good this frosting is. We're, like, literally bouncing off it. This is the kind of cake I want to eat. Not that crummy store-bought cake that you got for your birthday when you were a kid, and it looked like it had been sitting on the grocery store shelf for, like, two weeks, and then you got it, and it was all hard as a rock. Oh, maybe that was just me. Maybe you guys did get delicious cakes like this. And I was just the kid who got the stale cake. Alright, so we're rolling across some donuts there. Take out my frustration on these Waddle Dees. Next up here, we got a conveyor belt that looks like it's being powered by chocolate chip cookies. Alright, I'll go with that. Maybe this is the Nabisco factory that we broke into. And apparently there's cakes coming down on us. But we can smash their cakes. Ah, uh, all that work for nothing. So we're going to do the same thing over here. Smash this cake. Go down here. And we get a lot of beads. Yay for beads. And if I accidentally say stray beads, no, I'm not referring to Okami. But maybe subconsciously I am. I don't know. These are beads, right? I mean, that's what they call them in the Kirby game. And if they're beads that I haven't got yet, they're stray beads to me. So I don't know. Maybe I am thinking about Okami. Subconsciously. I don't even know it. Let's go up here and get some more of these beads. As for the music in this level, I have to say, yeah, I like it. It's like so happy. Like, even if you were in a super horrible, bad mood, like your girlfriend left you and your car blew up or you don't even have a car that will blow up, something horrible happened to you. If you put on this song, you start feeling good again. It's just one of those songs. All right, let's go down here. And I fail at jumping for whatever reason this episode. I'm getting distracted by all these yummy desserts that we're seeing. You know, I don't know if any of you out there have a sweet tooth, but like when you really want sugar and then like somebody's talking to you, you like lose all train of thought because you're like, oh, must have cake. Inside your brain, you're thinking like Homer Simpson. You're like, mm, donuts. All right, so we're going to use these cakes to do the same thing we did to get the bonus star and... If I guess that my brain didn't go homer on me, I don't know, my brain was saying, okay, we want to use this cake to jump over and get the treasure box, but my body was like, must smash it and eat the cake, because I guess I thought if I smashed it, I could somehow eat it. This is the donut pillow. This delicious looking cushion would be at home in a cafe. Or inside my stomach. Do you guys ever do that? Like, you have a complete disconnect with what your brain is telling your body to do, and your brain's just like, what the heck, fingers? I told you to jump on the cake, not to smash it. And your hands are like, oh, sorry, boss. I thought you said to smash the cake. That would be a good time, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I have this disconnect. You guys already know that I'm a little bit off in the head. All right, so let's go inside this donut, because it looks like a C. Maybe Cookie Monster will come out and say, C is for donut, even though... Donut spelled with a D, yeah. I can still spell a little bit. I may not be able to have a rational thought, but I can still spell cookies and donuts because Sesame Street has taught me well all these years. Alright, so let's see if I can... Uh, apparently I can't make jumps, though. I just about got squished there. I don't know if I'd have lost beats getting squished. I probably would have, so I guess it's good that I didn't make the jump rather than getting squished. I don't know why I couldn't get back into that donut in the loop in time. So we're going to see... Oh no, Waddle Doos! 
I'll have to blast them before they blast me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, careful now. I almost got knocked off the donut, and that wouldn't have been good. All right, so we have these umbrella waddle -doos. We can use them. If I could stay on their umbrella to get this bonus star. Come on, up, 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 up. Underlay, underlay. How are they still going up, even with fat Kirby on them? I don't know. It's one of the life's great mysteries that will never be solved. Okay, so we're going to go through here. I don't know why I'm still collecting beads. I must get beads, even though I have, like, way more beads than you need. Whoa, Kirby, no car transformation. Why is it that I can never do the car transformation when I want to, but, like, at random, I'll just turn car Kirby? All right, so instead of getting that other treasure down below, we're going to go up here because it's the second treasure, and to get it, we're going to have to transform. But luckily, it's not to train Kirby. It is into dun 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 Digger Kirby. I actually don't mind Digger Kirby nearly as much as the other transformations. I don't know. This might be the first time that I've done Digger Kirby in this Let's Play. Because I know, like, in previous levels you've done it, but I think since I've started doing the Let's Play for you guys, I think this is my first digging transformation. It's not that bad, you know, I, it's kind of annoying sometimes finding where all the little hidden items are, um, but for right now, I think there's just beads through here. The main thing that you want to focus on is making a path so that you can get back up to this treasure box. So you want to, like, carve out some steps so that you can get back up. But other than that, it's pretty easy peasy to navigate your way, because we're only limited to how we are. We're, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. We're not Digger Kirby for very long, that's what I want to say. Alright, so... Once we make our little path, we're going to go up through here, and hopefully I carved out a nice little set of stairs so Kirby can run up them like he's Rocky. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun, I'm so bad, I'll never be a boxing champ. We get the dessert dresser. This dresser will make you reach for a spoon and your elastic waistband pants. Yes, we can get fat pants. And if you don't know what fat pants are, just go to Walmart on any Saturday afternoon, and then you say, oh, that's what he meant, fat pants. Look at how Kirby goes down the ladder. He just looks, like, really fat there. Alright, so let's go over here. Float, Kirby! Float like the wind! And we get some more beads. Yay! Do not blast your lightsaber at me. Alright, to get the third treasure, what we're going to need to do is go down inside this donut. And yeah, we're going to go backtrack a little bit, I guess. Head on over to the left. This jump's not really that difficult to make. And as soon as I say that, I'll probably die. But no, I didn't die this time. So we get the music for Grassland, yay, because how could our MP3 player be complete unless we had that song? It's so magnificent. It's a true club banger. You go out dancing, all the girls want to hear Grassland song. Come on, play it, Mr. DJ. All right, so let's go through here. Oh, there's a bonus star down there. Wait a minute, even though I got way more beads than I need. Must get that last one or else my life will not be complete. And actually, this one's kind of cool that you get it, because you kind of got to fall, and then you got to be quick reflexes so you can, like, swing onto that. You're like Tarzan or something. It's awesome. All right. Even though we didn't need to do that, I just like getting excessive amounts of beads in every level. So let's hop around some cookies, and just like that, Sweet Spark has come to an end. Let's ding the bell. Hey, Prince Fluff. Nice of you to show up after we've done all the work. Yeah, you're a little late, but I guess you still get to dance with us. Why does Prince Fluff get to dance on my head? He did nothing in this level. I did all the work, and then he just comes in at the end and was like, Oh yeah, I helped get all these beads and treasures. No, you didn't, Prince Fluff. Oh, you're so annoying. Alright, that's why my name is on the cover of this game, and not you. <laughs> Even though it was supposed to be your game, and I just kind of hijacked it. We found the candy patch, because candy's good. This is Treat World, right? We should be finding candy patches, not stupid mushroom patches. Alright, so let's take this and unlock our next world. You know what I feel like doing after seeing all those cakes? I want to go to the grocery store and get a birthday cake just for myself and then write something weird and twisted on it. Like, happy third and final birthday, Becky. And the lady will be like, oh, third and... Wait, what do you mean final birthday? Is this kid going to die? And I'll be like, yes. And she's like, oh, that's so sad. Does she have cancer? And I'll be like, no, she's going to get hit by a bus. Alright, so next time on Kirby's Epic Yarn, we're going to be going to Melody Town. See you then.